Here we have the same production function that we used earlier, but now we're going to find the short run total cost curve. So in the short run, remember, something is fixed. And typically, it's going to be capital that's fixed. So when we find our short run total cost curve, it's going to be a function of Q, but also K. What we'll need to find then is the input demand curve for labor. Here's my production function, and notice I've put a bar over the K to indicate that capital is fixed. Simply what I need to do here now is just solve this for L. So I'm going to divide by 50, then I'm going to square both sides, and then I need to divide by K. Now notice I just distributed in that exponent, giving me Q squared over 2500 uh, times K bar. So this is my labor input demand expression. I go back to my total cost function, and it's always going to be the wage times the amount of labor I use, plus the price of capital times the amount of capital I use. In this case, since capital is fixed, we put K bar there, and now we substitute in for L. So it's W times Q squared over 2500 K bar. And this is my short run total cost expression. Let's suppose we know the wage is $25 and the rental rate of capital is $100. I can substitute in that information, can do a little bit of simplifying, and I get total cost is Q squared over 100 K bar plus 100 K bar. The first term here, the Q squared over 100 K bar, is my total variable cost. And the second term there is the total fixed cost, because in the short run we can divide our total costs into those two components.